Okay, I'm going to show you a new build of GZ I made uh, with the ability to check the regions where actors cull and don't cull, which is like kind of where they load and unload. Um, so if you go into debug and then actors and then select the actor you want to see their cull region for and then press the cull zone button, you can see this big green texture appears and it moves with Link, or it actually moves with the camera. Um, and you can see, because I selected this bush here, um, as soon as that bush goes out of this green plane, it's going to cull, and the whole uh, whole region goes red to show you that. And this is best seen in view mode. If you go to scene, free camera, view, you can kind of see this is like a, <laughs> a really large, almost pyramid-like shape. Um, and when Link moves forward, you can see the bushes come into this region, which means that they're not cold. And then when I move back, the bushes have come out of that region, which means, uh, which means that they are cold. And you can turn it off the same way you turned it on by pressing call zone. You can go to another actor, press call zone, change. To and I sh the thing I should mention is every actor has a different cull different cull parameters, which means that this shape that you see, this big red region, where if an actor is inside this region, it's it's not cold. Um, every actor has their own version of that shape based on their parameters, which is why you have to select a particular actor to decide on that shape. So, for instance, this right now is for bushes. It's actually quite small. Uh, for things like trees in Hyrule Field, this shape is huge because those trees have to stay rendered even when links at like the other side of the field. Uh, but yeah, just play around with it. I'm going to link in the description of this video the build. Um, and yeah, play around with it.